Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching. I am your host, the Report of the Week. Well, this video, I guess, has been a long time coming. It's something that I had the idea to do uh, for a long time. I mean, for, for weeks, for months. I wouldn't quite say for years, but it's been getting there. Of course, I, I, I've been doing this channel for a while, and I get all sorts of comments, and I get quite a lot of comments each and every day. Uh, sometimes I can get as many as a thousand comments a day. And, you know, of course, I can't see every comment, but I can get the gist of, of, of you know, what people's thoughts and feedback and general views on the videos are. Now, of course, in all the years that this channel's been going, uh, the comments have, have been everything. There have been comments that have been absolutely wonderful, comments that have been extremely hateful, and comments that are just downright weird and everything in between. Uh, you really see it all when you've been here long enough, and uh, I, I, I certainly have. But anyway, I know this type of video is pretty popular to do. A lot of people do it, you know, reacting to mean comments, reading bad comments, etc., etc. And the one thing that's put me off from doing this video for so long, I really didn't know how to initiate it. You know, I was I was originally going to try to look around and see what other people were doing, but just seeing from thumbnails, I, I kind of, I saw it just everywhere, where I saw there were some people that were reading it off their phones, there were some people, of course, that were doing it in a professional studio, uh, there were some people that were just tears streaming down their face and everything in between. I thought to myself, I'm just not going to watch any of these videos. I'm just going to do it my way. And uh, even if this ends up not being, I suppose, the status quo, forgive me, um, but I'm just going to read, perhaps react, and respond to a few uh, negative comments. Now, I get all sorts of comments. I know a lot of people might say, well, your, your comment section is, uh, is actually very clean by, by you know, the standards of, of many and while there might be a lot of good comments, there's a lot of bad ones, too. And today I was kind of searching around. I was trying to find some comments that really stuck out to me to include in this video. And I was surprised. It actually took a lot more... It was a lot more of a massive undertaking, should I say, than I expected. Because all I could get... All I could see was one comment saying, F you. And then another comment saying, F you. F this, F that, F the... I was thinking, well, I want to have some variety here. I don't want every comment that I read in this video to just be the same the, the same thing or some variation thereof. So I hunted some stuff down and I came across about 17 comments or so that I found that uh, we'll go through. Now, two things should be mentioned. First and foremost, to preserve the anonymity of those leaving these comments, their names have been censored. Also, I understand a wide variety of people watch these videos, uh, so some of the harshest expletives in these messages have been censored to a degree, uh, though the exact messages are likely decipherable. With that being said, some viewer discretion is advised, uh, so please proceed as you see it fit. On a final note, when it comes down to YouTube, I, I know hate isn't anything, you know, it's not a good thing. I always say everyone should treat each other with respect, kindness, and dignity. Uh, of course, in a perfect world, that's how it... Really, that's how I would like to see it, but unfortunately, that's not the reality we live in today. And whenever I get hate, the best thing I try to do now is just brush it off, ignore it, or sometimes in cases like these, even showcase it, even maybe make a little light of it. With that being said, let's see what we have here. Uh, I picked out a few, so let's... On with it. Um, I'm going to try to do some crude editing and get them up on the screen somewhere so wherever they pop up, they pop up. Again, I didn't pay $2,500 to an editor, so for that I apologize. Uh, but here's the first one. This is a good one. All right? He looks like a rat. Now that's... That's, you know, that's... That's fair. That's fair. I get this one a lot. I've gotten hundreds of those comments. But I was thinking to myself, well, he looks like a rat. Well, that may be true. Um, I think I do have maybe 5% rat DNA uh, in, in my makeup. So that is true, but I was looking for an upgrade. You know, he looks like a rat. Well, they can do better than that. So I kept searching. I kept digging around with my rat-like claws to find something better. And sure enough, look at this. This guy eats like a mole rat. 
Now that, I think, took it up a level. It's not, it's not just a rat anymore. It's a mole rat. And that's a big step right there. So that just, that just boosted the level in, in, in an incalculable level. 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 Anyway, I was saying, I want to even go further. I want to push the envelope here. I, I want to just keep this going. And then I found this one. And this is, I think there's nothing better than this. You look like an albino rat with an actual picture. I don't think that is an albino rat in the picture. I think that's just a little mouse. But, but this person went all out. I'm not a rat. I'm not a mole rat. I'm an albino rat. With the little mouse emoji, I suppose, uh, placed next to it. That's incredible. That's incredible. I, I, I didn't think it could go any farther than that. That's the zenith of all of the rat comparison comments that do exist out there. That's it. That's the peak. That's the apex. So I thought to myself, all right, we got that out of the way. Let's find some other stuff. Now this, this one, I get this a lot. I've been getting this since 2013. I don't understand why people have this obsession with wanting to punch me so much. Uh, but I've been getting this for so long. You get people, they say, I want to punch me. You know, they want to sucker punch me. Uh, they want to do this. They want to do that. I get so many of these. It's it's quite funny. I don't understand the obsession. Uh, this guy even offered, he said, how much money to punch you in the face multiple times. Well, that's an interesting offer, and I was trying to analyze that a little further. What exactly did he mean by that? How much money to punch you in the face multiple times? So is he saying he would pay me to punch me in the face multiple times? Or does he want me to pay him so he could punch me in the face multiple times. That confused me. I was kind of scratching my head at that one. And I really wasn't sure what to make of it. Um, and then I was thinking, you know, if, if he, you know, I wanted to know what the going rate exactly is. Because it's not something that I'm exactly very proficient in. So what would the going rate exactly be to punch me in the face multiple times? I'm afraid I just haven't an answer. If he, if he listed his prices, maybe we can kind of work a deal out, but I'm afraid he didn't. Uh, so unfortunately, that was just a business opportunity that was lost, I'm afraid to say. Next time, a word of advice on his part, he's got to name the price, and then we could go from there. Uh, this one was just weird. I want to beat him up, and then... That's just one of those things I just... I have nothing to say to it, if that's all that I have. So, all right. Going from rats to punching me. Next we go, oh, we got one more. This one, this one got three upvotes, so this is a good one. I just really want to punch you right in the jaw, like just full out fist to the jaw. Well, I do appreciate the descriptiveness, and it's clear other people did too. Um, but I appreciate, you could really see the passion come out in that one, though. You know, he, he reiterates his point. He's, he's got, he's a man on a mission. That's all that I can say there. This one's always classic. This one, there's another one. That one's, <laughs> oh, I get so many of those, I swear. You get people to, you know, that say these things to me, and, you know, you take it with a grain of salt. You say... These people, you don't know them, you just ignore them, you brush them off, forget about those people, you know? You move onward, you move forward, and we move on to the next one. <laughs> this, this one, this one just, this one makes me laugh because of the guy's avatar. I don't know why it is, but this one I just found rather funny. The guy says, <laughs> with the big ass suit. <laughs> I'm sorry, that one. That one just makes me laugh. It's just something about the guy's avatar that just did that one in for me, and I just had to had to do that. I get so many, though, that also come in and, and talk about the suit styles, you know, that I wear, uh, because I wear the detachable collars, or I wear the old-style suits, or the way I present myself. I get so many people that come in and, and say these things, and it's just funny. It's just funny. That one just made me laugh for some reason. Here's almost three uh, consecutive ones. The first two are about the suits, and then the third one. 
I, I, I guess I guess I'm not just an alien, but I'm a, I'm a I'm a, I'm a bleepin' bleepin' alien. I swear. Let's see what else we got here. This one. This one was clever. LMAO. List of ways to roast him. And he just lists them all. Stingy. Salmon hair. Frog. Donald Trump. Elf. Chin bleeper. TF eyebrows is this. Bony skin. Forehead big as my posterior. No offense. I'm not trying to be mean, but this is all true facts. But hey, I'm judging from the outside. He could actually be a pretty cool guy, so don't hate on me, guys. Now, I was looking at this list. And some of these things, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe not. But two of them, they got me. And I just sat there for a while, and I'm looking at it right now, and it leaves me speechless. And I would say his, his ways to roast me, not all of them did, but two of them were utterly successful. Salmon hair and bony skin. I don't even know what to make of those two. It's incomprehensible. Now, speaking on the incomprehensible, of course, aside from all the standard people just saying this or that, uh, we get a few truly incomprehensible com comments that do come in every day. Like this guy says, why do you do it a food review? Here is why. Because you're an Illuminati puppet. You're helping them with their depopulation agenda. Doing review of unhealthy food first year of your YouTube. You did energy drink review. Is it any healthy people that look like you do? You even look at yourself. I mean, give me a break. And then who can forget this one? This one was posted on uh, the failed Little Caesars review where I'm kind of sitting outside in the snow trying to review a pizza. You know, review bra, I really would have liked to eat a pizza very similar to the one you ate in the snow here, but I became embroiled in some kind of senseless stoosh with my older neighbor. He has trees classified in these parts as noxious weeds. These trees are huge, and they're getting into my plumbing via their behemoth root systems. Anyway going to cost me thousands to replace all the plumbing under the ground, and my neighbor just said, well, you should have thought about that before buying the house. I said, dude, it's worse than that. Your tree branches are as thick as three bowling balls, and they're hanging from my roof guttering as we speak. I said, friend, the ants are using the connection as a bridge to my new air conditioning system, and it has been infested. Again, he says, well, you should have thought about that before you bought the house. So anyway, I had no mood for pizza. And that was just eloquently written. And I, I suppose I could, I can uh, sympathize with you to a degree, but to another degree, I... It seems like you have quite the problem on my on your hands. That's all that I can really say to that one. And then there's some of the things that come out that just kind of make me shake my head and say, this is ridiculous. So this guy here at the top, he just starts out with, you know, a negative but completely inoffensive comment. He says, who cares, you lame weirdo? Well, that's fine. He has the right to say it. And uh, as you've seen, compared to some of the stuff, it's harmless. Some of the people, they kind of give harmless replies. Oh, nice try. 700k people do. Watch your mouth, young lady. You know, some, some harmless replies, right? It's just a pretty harmless comment. Someone who might not like the channel, just voicing his thoughts out uh, in a way that, well, it's not really offensive. And, uh, again, some inoffensive replies. Then I scrolled down and I my jaw almost dropped at how it just degraded. So you see the top comment there, watch your mouth. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to really repeat any of these but just just take a quick look at this stuff. I'm I'm 
All right, that second one's a meme. The third one, the guy's giving him a warning, but then the last two, I mean, they're, they're telling this guy you should go die for saying that? No, granted, these people are saying it as a joke, but still, I think that's a little harsh considering the subject matter of the original comment, wouldn't you think? Uh, that's just, uh, that's just a little, uh, a little, a little too overboard, I would say. Even if they're trying to say that in my defense, that's just, that's just a bit too much, I'm afraid. And finally, I want to end this one with an email. This one was straight and to the point. This needs to stop. Now, I get a lot of emails in my email address every day, in the hundreds at this point. A lot of spam, a lot of genuine remarks, um, and everything in between. But this one kind of caught my eye because it was very hastily titled, This Needs to Stop. So I clicked on it and I thought to myself, well, what needs to stop? What exactly is, uh, is going on here? inquired about this. The individual writes, my grandma does not like your videos. She is 84. This is enough. Well, dear sir, madame, it is quite unfortunate to tell you, but I'm afraid to announce that it is more likely that your grandma is to stop before my videos do. I know that was harsh, but I, I that came to mind immediately after saying that, and I that's all. But with all respect to your grandma, if she if she doesn't like the videos, she doesn't have to watch them. And that really goes for anyone. If you don't like the content, you don't have to watch it. We all have that free ability to click on the channel, and if we don't like it, we could leave the dislike, and we can click off of it. Well, anyway, that was just kind of reading and reacting to a few uh, a few mean comments here and there. I know I get a lot every day, but I think the best way to kind of take all this stuff is with a grain of salt, ignore it, brush it off, and just move onward and forward. And if they really do get to you, it's always good to have a good support network in place, whatever that might be. Your friends, your family, your loved ones, uh, any things in day-to-day -day life that might give you contentment, solace, or happiness. Because I know at first, when I first started getting all these negative comments, they were really getting to me. But I found ways to cope with it, and at this point, I just see them, I brush them off, and I was even able to make a video kind of, you know, kind of saying, you know what, this is what it means to me. Whoops, wrong hand. Forget it. I was trying to make a zero with my hand. You understand the picture, but that's what it means to me. It doesn't mean anything to me. You just brush it off, and, uh, and as I said, you just move onward and forward. Well, thank you all for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just trying out something new. And uh, if you're interested, please check out the newest VORW radio broadcast, something I do for you every week. And you can find it in the pinned comments, in the description, or in the cards. A fun hour of talk and music that, again, I do for you every week. Feel free to check it out. And until then, take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.